Look at this, guys. Is that a snake? Or a caterpillar? This thing is wicked, man. Hey, everybody. David Fine here from Keys Moz. I have a pretty cool video for you. Um, I have a fly fishing rod over there because I'm actually on a flat fly fishing in Eleuthera, Bahamas. It's a, an incredible opportunity I got to come over here and hang out for four or five days in Eleuthera. And, but we're not going to fish on this channel. This is about uh, butterflies and moths. But of course, when I see cool things like this, I have to show it to you. It relates to one of our Florida Keys moth species. Guys, this is a black mangrove. And this black mangrove plant right here is, getting, is being completely demolished by caterpillars. And I think I know what they are. I want to show you what they are. Um, it's something that I've been searching for for years down in South Florida. I've just never been able to find it. So, guys, I'm going to show you what, what is tearing up this black mangrove tree. Watch this. All right, guys. First thing, there are a number of different mangrove species. Uh, we've got, I believe that's a white mangrove right there. There's red mangrove. I think there's, I think there might be four, four or five different species. I forget exactly. But guys, this black mangrove has these leaves. They're, they're not as big as the red mangrove leaves. Um, usually red mangroves live. Actually, I'm going to show you red, ma red mangroves are these guys right here with the roots in the water. They've got bigger leaves. They're the ones that make up the bulk of, uh, a lot of our islands in the Florida Keys, those mangrove islands, uh, at least on the water, they're the ones that have the, the floating seed pods that float around. And um, those are red. But this is a single solitary little black mangrove. And what I'm going to show you is um, I'm going to show you that this thing has been tore up. And I have a feeling that if we hunt... We're going to find the culprit because even though this looks like it's the leaves are already growing back. Um, look at this, guys. I see what looks like a pupa right there. Several of them. Oh, dude. Yeah, look at this, man. Look at this, guys. <laughs> Check this out. Guys, this... That's an emerged pupa of what I believe is the false window sphinx, Pseudothyrus medorix. They feed on black mangrove and they actually pupate, not on the ground because that would be kind of dumb if the tide comes in, they die. So they pupate on the stems. They make a little silk webbing and they pupate right here. So that's really cool. There's, just, there's several of them on this tree. They're looks like they're all spent the, the pupas have already emerged but i wonder if we if we search would we be able to find a caterpillar because even though some of these eatings look like they've they're old and they're starting to grow back those are not some of these eatings over here are very fresh because there's no leaves there's no baby leaves on them so let's see guys if we can Let's see if we can hunt down and find a caterpillar. I think they're brown, these caterpillars. Let's see, guys. Oh, yes. Is that what that is? Is that what this is? Yeah. Look, guys. Oh, look at that. Look. How cool. Look. Sphinx. It's definitely a sphinx. I think. It doesn't have the horn on the back. But I believe this is what our false window sphinx caterpillar looks like, guys. Pseudothyrus medorix. Oh, gosh. There's another one. Look. There's, there's another one right here. <laughs> oh, 
Oh yeah, they've got little false eyes there. Look at that. Come here, let me see if I can show you guys one of these. Let's see. He's probably fourth in star, I'm guessing. How cool is that? He's got these little fake, these little fake eyes here, as if he was a, a snake or something. And they weren't showing when he was resting, but now that I'm disturbing him, he's flaring these uh, these fake eyes. Like a snake. Look at that thing, man. It's got these little nodules here in the middle. Yep, there's the little bump on the head, on the end that used to be a tail. So, guys, that is the false window sphinx larva, Pseudothyrus medorix. And uh, I'm super thrilled to be able to finally see this caterpillar. I've searched for it for a very long time and have not been able to find it in Florida. Have to come to the Bahamas. Yeah, let me let him go. Oops. My gosh. He's kind of stuck on my glove there. Come on, grab on. There you go. Awesome. Let me see, is there anybody in this pupa? Nope, the pupa's spent too. All right, so this, this tree is thoroughly inf infested, guys. Uh, I just found three of them. There's one there. Uh, there. The guy I just released. There's another one right here. So there's three right on this, right in this little stem right here. Let's see if I see any more. Yep, there's another one. There's four. There's five. Wow, this is great. I wish I was back at home. I would be able to take these home and raise them. Six. Look at that guy. You know, this stem just got completely tore up. Look at that. Six right here. Any big guys? Guess some of those things were pretty big. Another another pupa. He's spent. Oh yeah, look at that. There's a pupa. Spent. There's a caterpillar, guys. <sighs> See what happens when uh, you you disturb them? They flare out those those fake eyes. Come on, I'm not done with you. They expose those fake eyes as if it was a snake. And they try to scare people away, or scare birds away, or lizards or whatever, whatever it would be that would eat them pretty cool that's about the 12th one i've seen so far uh i was hoping to find a big guy so far i definitely haven't found any mature larvae they're all probably fourth fourth in star i would i would guess but at any rate i think it's pretty cool that we're able to, oh yeah, here we go, baby. Look, big dog, big dog. Look at this thing. You guys see it? Oh, that's a big dog right there. Look at that thing. Awesome. Let's see if I can show you. Let's 
see. All right, there. There's the big one, guys. Final instar. Final instar caterpillar for sure of Pseudothyrus medorix. And uh, how interesting. All right, guys, I want to show you this larva real quick. This is the full grown Sphinx caterpillar, Pseudothyrus medorix. It's uh, it's got like this little red blotch on it, like almost like the mouth of the snake. See the red blotch in the front, and then the eyes. Dude, this thing is, this thing is wicked, man. Tell me that doesn't look like a snake's head. That thing is so wicked, and he's super camouflaged too. He sits on the stems of this uh of this plant and he is very hidden let me show you all right guys i have thoroughly photographed and videoed this caterpillar and uh now i'm gonna let him go and let him grow and uh just wanted to show you guys a little bit about the false window sphinx and and this poor little black mangrove tree that's just getting annihilated by these caterpillars uh I, you know I, I stopped at about 12 i found about 12 of them i'm sure there's a lot more i'm sure if i searched down underneath i'd find some more of these big dogs like this but guys hope you like the video uh signing out now from eleuthera bahamas look at that sunrise <laughs> caterpillars in the bohemian sunrise that's so cool uh guys signing out for now take care and uh so glad i got to show you this until next time let's get out there and enjoy south florida or wherever you are even if you get to go to a cool place like the bahamas the luther look at that so cool bye guys